Um, we're going to do another segment of Dust Sandals. You know the drill. We play a game for half an hour. Um, we do four games. I put it on YouTube. And I've been trying to do a theme on each one. So the, the theme this week is going to be real-time strategy games. Like, they're kind of a dead genre now. They've kind of expanded out in other things. But in the 90s, they were pretty fucking good. Um, and I, I, I sort of got on this tangent. Um, I found, like, Andrew Huddleschultz channel on youtube and then like one of the related videos that came up was the guy who um made the command and conquer soundtracks for like all of them like command and conquer red alert and all those sort of ones a fellow called frank koplaki um he actually got some people together made a little band called the tiberian sons and did like a live show with like um the music from command and conquer so i think that's that's where we're gonna have to start we're gonna start with the best one and this was pretty damn cool back in the day i think in order to get the full um the full thing with uh command and con you've got to you've got to see where we started with it registration card and send it in yeah. like that's how iconic this intro was when they remastered command and conquer they had this was basically the intro before you started playing the game for last minute changes in that was that was a very quick insulation that was pretty good all right do we get the oh no we gotta we gotta get the the boot up show us the boot up screen yep copy all the drivers show us some stock footage of things blowing up Installation complete. I am his right hand, and I have a task for you. This is Nakumba, and he is causing the Brotherhood much grief. His views do not. <laughs> you must find with Nakumba's ours, chin. And that we makes cannot him find it. Silence him. Oh, we're just gonna take him out. Sounds like a plan. And there's that fucking sweet Frankel black at Queen's. Oh yeah. Oh, we're gonna get some reinforcements already. Nice. Let's get some of that shit. <laughs> yeah, I get half a chub when they say you get lost too. I think it's the chick with the sexy voice too. Helps a little bit. We're just gonna light each other up. But yeah, like, real time strategy kind of evolved over the years. Like, like I mentioned it started with Dune 2. In Dune 2, you literally had to select one unit at a time and give it orders to go back and forth. Thankfully in this, they added the option to click and drag and select a heap of units. Um, and you just saw that, you saw real-time strategy games, like, evolve over the years. New construction, New construction options, you say? Yep, smart idea is put your power plant right at the back. Because if your power plants get wrecked, you can't power anything else. Yeah, just, just do it up. Construction. Oh, you guys Just get in and fucking wreck shit, boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, fuck that harvester. Fuck up that harvester, you boys. Doing well. Maybe, maybe you guys do it as well. Yeah, like, I, I know my time limit for these games is half an hour, but I think we gotta, we have to push forward and see uh, Kane at the very least. There we go. We're done. Do we get Kane? I wanna see Kane. Can we have some Kane? If we, don't, if we don't get Kane this mission, I'm just going to look up his intro on YouTube. Just because I'm slack. Yeah, it probably does suck being ca named Karen. I mean, it works out if you actually are a Karen. I! <laughs> we're off to Chad, where all the... It's the country where all the muscly guys with giant chins come from. That's where all the alpha males live. Are we just getting the little explanation about Kane? No, 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 no. Let's let's just go and find stuff about Kane. Can't name drop Turtle Biscuit with me, well uh, making me sad. What you a shame! Yeah. Kane's favorite. How would you like to ensure your place in the highest echelons of Nod? I think we're about Surely to, Seth. you ambitious enough to take on a mission of tremendous magnitude. Your goal is so secret, even Kane knows nothing of it yet. You see, power shifts quickly in the Brotherhood. 
I've taken the liberty of dispatching your troops to the U.S. <laughs> Kane has been loath to attack America, but I feel that it's time and that you're the one to do it. This is the Pentagon. A full frontal attack with your strongest forces should render their military center of... Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Taking on the Pentagon first go. What an idiot. Yes. You deserve that. Power shifts more quickly than some people think. I am Kane. When I get your troops back from the States, I want you to take what men you have left and secure this abandoned GDI base. Once in, build up an arsenal of weapons and use them to wipe out the remaining GDI presence. Oh, and congratulations on your promotion. <laughs> See, that's why we're in Africa. That's that's where Kane came from. Kane specifically came from Chad, for he's a Chad. Um, no, while Matey's here... Matey and I were having a discussion of it. Yeah, we we sort of did this whole tangent in our like conversation slash movie night we have on Fridays, and it, it started with, "Hey, check out this live show from Frank Klepaki. Um and then we were reminiscing about other real time strategy games. Oh, hey, Cregan, I have the remastered edition. Such a great game. Um, yeah, yeah. We, I was just about to bring up KK and D. Um, but yeah, we had to segue into it. Yeah, there was like a heap of other different um, real-time strategy games I played when I was a kid. One of them being KK and D. It was another Australian one called Dark Rain, and that was by Orin, and they they were from uh, Queensland. Um, they were pretty good. Let's let's dig out KK and D. Where is that? No, we've done we've done gum boots. There it is. All right, let's have a look at old KK and D. I don't remember this. Um, the box art for this, say. So. Look, my survival instinct is terrible. I'm going to stand in danger. <laughs> yeah, we also did that. We we watched uh, a little bit of Akira as well, because uh, Matey hadn't seen it. But yeah, um, I was saying that to Matey. Uh, the the offices for Melbourne House slash Beam Software were actually across from Albert Park in Melbourne, so I would actually drive past there to get into the city because that's how you avoided the uh, the toll roads but yeah so this was essentially australia's answer to command and conquer they're like we we can have a decent crack at this so essentially the the bombs drop the two warring factions are the guys that went out on the ground and the guys that stayed above ground and they're fighting over it the sweet sweet life do that is oil they can hope you have been a great hunter for many years. Time should be good now, but the earth speaks and I am afraid of what I hear. Life crawls from holes in the ground <laughs> oh, yeah, and it's, I fear it's it is the sum that is back um, from the dead. Not since doing the, the diagnostic on the computer and says mathematics co-pressor so wooden abacus detected. I hope my feelings are wrong. <laughs> Take a hunting party and search. <laughs> Kill what is not bit more like um. Rigged. I think I look cute as if even But yeah, nice. We get a pretty cool raiding party. You get some uh, die walls, so like your scouts. You get little ATV bikes. You get some flamethrower boys. Yeah, like I, I found that with this game, the Evolve definitely had the the cooler units. That is actually really fucking loud. All right, killed their Derek. This 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 raid's not going very well. We probably shouldn't have driven straight into their fucking base, I don't think. I'm just gonna take my ATV around to the south. Uh oh no. Yeah, you might prank it, mate. I think I've done it again. I remember there's a little joke in here in um Yeah, possibility of RACV motor club roadside assistance nil. Oh, well, that was that's definitely a Melbourne joke. Fight oh no no no! Sorry, we weren't going to do Red Alert. We were actually going to do this one. We're going to do um, Constructor. I was having a look. It has been literal donkeys since I played this, but this is essentially real estate agent simulator. <laughs> you get to be a cunt. I don't even remember the intro for this. No, I found a car. Oh, that's some concrete. <laughs> He's just standing there. He's about to get with the mess with the boss. It does have a bit of a bullfrog vibe to it. 
Oh yeah, here we go. Um, so woodyard. We apparently have to build one of these before we start. Um, have it there, and can we expand it out? Uh, oh no, you move with it. Okay, and then I think we send our. Are you kidding, Allah? Eh. <laughs> Homer Dump Repairman, or who else we got here? We need a formula, apparently. So we can redecorate it and put a fence up, select gadgets, view possible tenants. Um, okay. Biffa and Jean Gange, uh, 60 Days Tenancy, or Nobby and Ivy Turd. No, we gotta get Ivy, Nobby and Ivy, we gotta get the turds in here. It's all very confusing. Everyone's, uh, yeah, I'm, I, I'm apparently, yeah, because I'm a real estate agent, no, people automatically hate me. Yeah, I, I'm not a fan of this. <laughs> I'll go, I'll come back and play it another day, though. We got to amp people up, so let's, let's do some Command and Conquer Red Alert. We did the original Command and Conquer, but, yeah, we got, we got to play some more of this, I think. Yeah, so this is an interesting one. Um, it's an alternate reality where Hitler died early and World War Two kind of continued. I've just got to adjust this. Oh, yeah, he's trying to Give fix my stream up for us. Calculations. Yeah. So ah, oh, here we go. I gotta show up for the music. If you ever want to get psyched up for anything in your life, you play Hell March. Yeah, the live show for this was amazing. They even got like. Because Frank does all his own music, he mainly plays guitar. But there's a point he like jumps off and jumps on the drums and fucking aces the drums. Is it safe to speak? Yeah, of course. I'm, I'm good. I, I'm good to come ahead. The kill time I'm, depends uh, upon the weight of the subject. I'm a strong uh, member of Russian the party. Were terminated in less have arrived. Yeah, that's, that's fucking one way of doing it. Wow. <laughs> we just blowing shit up with the planes. Right, right here. You boys get into it. Unit lost. Unit lost. Oh, we don't get air support for this one. Oh, we get puppy dogs, though. Oh, look at the cute boy. Base is under attack. What? Oh. Don't attack my base. Have a dog. <laughs> Forgot about the dogs. The dogs are pretty cool. Oh, he's found a refinery. Can you, he can't take the refinery. <laughs> not the refinery, the harvester. He's not allowed to attack the harvester because he is a dog. Oh, got plugged. Come on, blow up, blow up. That's why I brought grenadiers. Oh, they're taking fucking ages on that shit. All right. Gonna send in the other team. Take that thing out. We'll say we did. We'll keep it for ourselves. Okay, oh yeah, there's uh, Joseph Kuko. Good afternoon. <laughs> Look at him like he's also I going to share Stalin's is. wife. Yet. Yeah. But I do know who betrayed our cause. We have it's probably not his wife. They, they probably have, the like, the designated... Forces. Yeah. He this this woman is for everyone, comrade. Get to Kree again and use your dogs to sniff out the coward before he can take refuge in a safe house. <laughs> Feels awkward when they're all just staring at me like that. But yeah, um... Moral officer. Yeah, yeah, she's got the official title of moral officer. For king and country. Maybe... <laughs> maybe oral officer, I don't know. Um, but yeah, we'll leave it there. Control terminated. Oh, I love when they say that. 